Happy, 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 happy Monday. Happy Monday. It is crafting time here at Christie's Craft Room. I'm Christy with Christie's Craft Room. I'm not. That's my husband, Tim. He does lots of things here. But right now, he is hanging out in the comments. He's getting ready to send the text to everybody to let everybody know that we are live. If you want a text message, um... You can text hello to this phone number, 810-374-0342, and you will get a text message when we go live. We will be, I just want to let everybody know, heads up, be watching for it. We will be soon transitioning to a different um, texting way of communication for you all. We're going to get a different number, and I will get that for you um, very soon. It's a long story. Some of you all know it's... The company we're using now, they they did like, it just got really expensive. <laughs> they, they did a major overhaul that wasn't nice. Yes, they did a major overhaul that wasn't beneficial to their customers, um, people like us who use it, to let people like you know when we're live and come hang out with us. So we will be changing that shortly, but for now, this is the number we're using, and oh. I will let you know when we make that transition. You switch. Am I backwards? backwards. Oh, I am. Hold on, on y'all. How did I miss that? Oops, wrong, wrong button. Wrong button. Let me fix that for you all. Got to get it the right way. There we go. I knew something seemed a little off and looked a little weird. Let me hold it up for you again because you probably couldn't read it. Oh, my goodness. There you go. I'll hold it up for you all so you can grab a screenshot real quick and it won't be backwards for you. <sighs> it's a Monday. It's a Monday. It's fitting for a Monday, right? All right, guys. Hello, Miss Margaret, Miss Debbie, Miss Robin, Miss Colleen. Hello, Marlene. How are you? All right. Don Marie says, "Be there in 35 minutes." <laughs> <laughs> we'll probably still be we'll here. Be and we'll we'll still be here in 35 minutes. We will. You just Robin just got the notification. Hello, Miss Peggy. Uh, Ratia got the notification. Eileen, 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 Eileen. To the left Aileen? when you drink too much. Aileen. <laughs> yes, Eileen. <laughs> Thank you, um, Hello. <laughs> All right, guys. We are, you guys. Um, I know, right, Deb? Loved, that was an amazing game. Loved our hanger that we did the other day. And I don't know if I can get it off of this hook. Let me see if I can get it off so I can hold it up closer for you all. Yeah? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I, like I got it. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Oh, okay. Just saw my, my spare tire hanging out, though. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We all got it. Um, so I'm just hiding better than others. We did this one the other day, and we did it kind of in army-themed colors. Today, I'm going to do the coordinating tier tray set, but I'm going to do it more neutral, patriotic um, colors. So you can do whatever colors you want. See if I can get it back up there now, y'all. See if I can get it back up there. <laughs> Eileen says, I uh, heard that all through high school. I know. I right? believe you did. Right? I believe you did. Okay. It's a little crooked. I got a hung wonky, but that's okay. That's okay. Put myself back together here. Woo! All right. Um, so we're going to do this more like patriotic-y colors, a little bit more neutral. Um, but if you have someone in the army and you want to go more the army colors or the marines and you want to go with the marines colors or the navy whatever direction you want to go with it you can go in whatever direction you want to okay we're going to go neutral um oh yes you that's a great idea these could be used on a wreath you could do a wreath and attach these to a wreath as well that's a fabulous 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 idea all right i'm gonna start with this little set here i'm gonna do it a little bit differently than i did that one there's actually an easier way to even paint that one than i did the other day with this boots part i wasn't thinking i wasn't thinking that's why i do these live for you guys so you can see what works and what doesn't work and what works and what works better and vice versa and all the things hey, before you, you actually stars. do it um but what i'm going to do is I am going to start by, I'm gonna do these like red and white stripes, like the flag, okay? I'm gonna actually paint right over the boots. You'll still be able to see the lines where the boots are, so I can come back and I'm gonna paint these boots black, okay? 
So those lines, they're not only like colored, but they're they're kind of like engraved into you, you there. Probably did, Amy. She said, "Did I see the firefighters emblem mm -hmm. uh, on the picture with Tim working this morning?" Um, I, I know that it was the EM. I know that it was the EMT. The firefighter. The, the I think. Sign. Yeah, and I know there was the police one. You could see in that one. I you might have been able to see the firemen one in there as well. I'm gonna do my white first. Start with my white. Oh, Stacy, send us an email to, to Christie's team at Christie's Craft Room dot com. for the send us an email. I don't not really sure what what happened or what your yeah. Send us an email, Christie's team at Christie's Craft Room dot com. Um, make sure you send it to Christie's team. Cause that's the one that it's gonna get seen at. Um, I need a paintbrush. I don't know what I'm looking for here, y'all. I don't know. I need a paper towel. Can you hand me a paper towel, please, honey? Um, the. You messed me up. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, I know what you're talking about, Stacy. Did you send us an email already? I think I we already. Yeah, I think check your email. You might have gotten an email back already. Um. Austin, I was telling him he was helping me and he was going to email you back um, and let you know. I think we already refunded you for that part. Um, you, so Bridget, check your starting. email first before you send us another one because I think I think he, he might not have gotten to it yet, but we were just talking about it a little bit ago where you had that coupon code thing you were supposed to use and it didn't work and you, yeah. Um, Thank you, Ish and Jackie, yeah, for the I know, stars. I know. It just takes me a minute sometimes, y'all. It just takes me a minute. <laughs> There's a lot going on in this brain up here. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you, Robin, for the stars. So I'm going to paint from these lines over, okay? I'm going to go right over my boots. Going right over my boots. These boots are made for walking. No, those ones are made for marching. Marching? Marching? Okay. Yes, these are made for marching. These ones are not made for walking. You're right. Thank you, Kathy, for the stars. I'm going to go a little bit past the line so that when we put our metal piece on, it's going to cover the edge. Okay? You just don't want to go over your words. Just don't go over the brave. Thank you, Janet, for the stars. Sharon says, I have my grandson this week. He's Ooh. almost two, and he's keeping me on my toes. I might miss a thing or two. Oh, I bet he is. Oh, I hope these show through like a Yeah, they are. Okay. For a moment, I was like, uh-oh, I don't want to lose my lines. Sometimes when you first put the paint on, you're like, whoa, I don't see the line. But then as that paint starts to dry, those lines start showing through. Um, and then we're going to use red. Opaque red. Opaque red. Opaque. That's not the one I wanted. I don't want opaque red. I don't want opaque red. Opaque red is a much brighter, vibrant red. And I don't want a vibrant red for this one. Hi, Jessica. Um, Thank you, Billy, for the stars. I think I want. Hi, Cynthia. We're gonna go with barn red. Yeah, barn red. Bar red. Hi, See Tanya. the difference? This is very bright. This one is a little bit more muted, a little more farmhousey, a little more, um, yeah, just a little more of what I like. A little bit more of what I like. Hello from Baltimore, Miss Lois. Hello, hello. Oh yeah, it's, it's a good red. It's a good red. Barn red. Ceramico brand barn red. I'm going to get a little bit smaller of a paintbrush. Oh, wow. So we can get in there. Oops. A little Kenan bit better. Allison said, just watching the Super Bowl. <coughs> You're uh, just watching the Super Bowl? We were in Kansas City oh. last night when the Chiefs won, but couldn't watch the game. Oh, you literally are just watching. Saw the fireworks at Union game. Station last night after the game. That's awesome. It was a good game. It was a good that game. That was a really good game. It was very much like that. Give and take, back and forth. We were at the game. Um, well, not at the game. No, we weren't at the game. We were watching the game at my parents' house, and my brother and sister-in-law were there. My brother is a big-time sports fanatic, all sports. Um, <laughs> his team didn't win, the one that he wanted, but nope. he was happy at the end because he, he bought squares. Like $100 worth of squares, okay? You know, everyone sells squares. All the kids do fundraisers for the school. See how you can see the the boots coming through? See that? See that? Now we're going to do every other line with well, the came, red. That came through 
through a lot better than I thought it would. It did. I could actually do a second coat, but I kind of want a little bit of farmhouse. I'm going to come back. I'm going to sand it down a little bit anyways. Um, but even with the second coat, you're still going to see those boots showing through. Um, Tim did make his food, Susan. He made yummy, yummy food. But we'll get to that in a second. But my brother-in-law, he won what was it $600 in his square so he was he was happy overall he was happy yeah his team didn't win but he won so in the end it worked out and he was a happy man so but yes Tim made his food he made his um um oh hold on I'm gonna remember what they're called pig shots that's what they're called. They were good. It was sausage wrapped in bacon with like a cream cheesy cream little goodness. And ch cheddar filling. And a lot of times they'll put like a jalapeno on top. But we well, they'll we dice don't. jalapenos, put them in the cream cheese and a jalapeno on the top. Yeah. We're not so into the spicy though, so Tim didn't do that. Good. They, were good. they were good. And then he did he did um, chicken wings. Chicken wings. Chicken wings. Ooh, Patty won 300, but that halftime field goal cost me another 300. Oh, Patty. Oh. Yeah. What, did you think the ground could make the, uh, the field goal? The what could make the field goal? Gronkowski. Oh, I'm like, I don't know. I didn't watch a lot of the game. I didn't watch a lot of the commercials either. Me and my sister talked more than anything. We were, we were chatting more than anything. But the funny part was we started watching the game. The game comes on, and the TV's working fine. And then about, what, maybe four minutes, three, four minutes into the game, if that. Well, it was a little staticky, so, so Dad went out to adjust the antenna on it. Don't, yeah, my dad went to fix it, and all of a sudden we lost all, all connection. Yeah. All connection, we lost the whole game, so we got Tim and my brother-in-law. Oh, no, I didn't do nothing. No, we got Tim and my brother-in-law oh. watching the game on their phones. <laughs> well, Dad's out there trying to fix. He ended up taking the antenna from the front of the house, the house antenna, and bringing it out, because we were out. They have, like, this screened in and closed porch like a three season room but they use it all four seasons because they got a heater out there yeah because we put um, a heater in it they got a heater so it's it's a three season room that we use for four seasons and um he brought that antenna out there and got it all fixed up for the guys so he took care of them so we were going to get it sprayed the uh sprayed with insulation too oh yeah they want to spray it with insulation at one point my dad wanted to put windows in there and i'm like dad like, but then you just you can't open them fully in the summer. You know what I mean? Like in the summer, you want it, you want the breeze to blow through the screens and and all that stuff, right? So, um, I convinced him to not do that. But, but they do close it. They have like a thick these thick plastic covers that they put on it, <laughs> or we put on it in the winter. Hi, Sheila in Milltown. Um, no, we still don't have Trevor's car. The, 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 the next round of parts aren't supposed to be here till Wednesday. The technician is off Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, so they'll get back working on it on Monday. Mm. Nice. Awesome. Nice. All right, so I'm painting my red lines. I really like this red. You know, uh, the, there, was, there was a couple of... Uh, uh, one of the one of the commercials I really liked was the one with uh, uh, John Travolta and the, the the two guys from Scrubs. That's where we are so far. Where they kind of did a play. It was a T-Mobile commercial, and they kind of did a play on the the song from um, Summer Lovin' from uh, Greece. Mm -hmm. So it was it was pretty good. I didn't really see many of the commercials. I saw the rabbit hole one where they were throwing everybody in the hole, and it was the rabbit hole. I don't remember. Oh, it was some TV commercial for t for some TV channel oh. or streaming service. Wish Evan a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Evan. Happy birthday, happy, birthday happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Evan. Happy birthday to Where'd you. Where did it go? Evan says, Tim, I love the smile on your face when you're talking about the car. Yes. Y'all. Hey, I have my truck this week though, so I'm happy. I gave Trevor the loaner. I need my truck this week. All right, so I'm just literally painting 
over the stars white. I'm going white with the stars. And you can already see, it's literally like before your eyes, those stars are starting to actually show through again as that paint dries, okay? So you'll be able to see where to lay your to lay your metal overlay on. Um, oh, Judy asked, how was half time? Okay. I had, I had very low expectations for halftime. Very low. Tim's very judgmental. I am extremely judgmental. So, I'm like, all it's going to be, she's just going to be out there shaking it. Oops. Nightfall blue. Love this blue. Nightfall blue. Probably, you know, based on past Super Bowls, it's not going to be family friendly. And I was, I was amazed. I'm going to go right over the words. I'm not even going to go in the lines. You don't want to go in the lines. We want you to go outside the lines with these, okay? I, uh, uh, and I even said that afterwards. I'm like, I am, that's not my type of music, but I was, I was happy that He's it was. very conservative. Yes. So he was okay with it. I was okay Usually with Usually the Super Bowl is not that conservative as far no. as like. There wasn't a little booty shake and there was all that was happening because yes, of course but it was all but covered the, but the clothing he liked the clothing options i'm like she's wearing a turtleneck he's like well it probably won't stay on for long <laughs> it stayed on she even put more clothes on by she, the yeah, end she, she put well no so, she had she had that big winter coat on when she came down no but then she wore that big long like winter coat that's like a sleeping bag that big long one so she actually had more. oh yes colleen i i think that was the highlight of it what? Uh, Chris Stapleton's National Anthem. Yeah, that was good. That was I was good. very happy with that. That was he, good. He did, he was amazing. And that's more his style of music. Too. Yes. So that helps. Yes, that helps. He's a little biased. A little? He's a lot biased, y'all. <laughs> I am. He's a lot biased. He's a lot biased, well, okay? I, I always say, I like both types of music, country and western. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Wait, let me dry this real quick. Let me dry this, and then I'll hold it up and show you. And uh, get ready, because uh, I'm going to grab some things here in a minute. All right, so there is how we painted, okay? I literally just painted right over the words, right over the stars, because when I come in with our metal piece, I like, oops, I like, I like so. Let me line it up. It's not lined up. Hold on. Hold on, do over. That's what it looks like. Painted right over it. <laughs> it's not that hard to line it up. I just, my fingers were not working. Line it up like that. And then look. So that's why you don't have to paint in the lines. Because you're not going to see where you go outside your lines with the brave and the stars. And then, of course, we've got the boots. We're going to paint where the boots are going to go. And then the boots will overlay um, as well. Pretty cool. So tell me, you guys. Um, I'm going to do these black but what do you think we should do for the outside that's what i didn't think about what do you mean the outside oh yeah. the outside of the boots yeah yeah you're doing what black because these are wood i'm going to do the insides of the boots black oh should i do the outsides black too i thought okay you want to know what i thought you thought i was just going to do the lines yeah then? do the lines so the red red and white are like coming through the boots and then maybe do the boots blue so you got your red, white, and blue there. That's my two cents. Uh, I feel like the boots don't pop enough, though. You don't think they pop with blue? With, with blue? Yeah. Do the boots blue? Do the boots blue. Why would the boots be blue? To have be red, white, and blue on that side. Yeah, but... You got the red... I don't but know. But I was just going to do the boots black because, like, the boots would be black. Like, the dress black. Dress okay. boots would be black. That's what I was thinking. Y'all right. tell me. Patricia says gray. Hmm. Black boots, Black Sharon boots. says, with lots of explanation marks. Happy Crafty Monday. Yes, Andrea. Brown for the boots. Camo green. All kinds of ideas. Silver or gray. Do, the boot. Do boots black. Army All right. green. All right. Well, I'm trying to go neutral, so I didn't want to go with the army green because I felt that would lean towards army. Let's do, you know what? I'm going to do the boots black, oh. and I'm um, going to do this black, just dry brush it black, so it still kind of pops a little bit, but 
you're still going to get that 3D effect. Okay, I just... We'll see how it turns out, and then you guys will know if you want to do it this way or if you want to do it a different way. That's why we do these, so you guys can get ideas of what you want to do and what you don't want to do. So we'll see what happens. You going to get names, Tim? Yep. Tim's going to get names. I want to get a small brush so I can make sure I don't... This one. Ah, do I like that one? Do I like that brush? Hmm. Good, good brush. What okay, we have... Eve Gutierrez, Kathy Cummings, Margaret Barton, Dora Babiek, Kathy Goyer, Kathy Roach Oberst, Gina Barefoot, Jenny Roberts Day, Sharon Henson, Devonna Gregg, Don Marie Behel, and Yvonne Werner. You're going to be a little bit more careful with the smaller one than we had to be with the bigger one just because it, um, you know, it's smaller. And your lines that overlap are not as wide. So we're still going to kind of try to stay in the lines a little bit more with this one. But you still don't have to be perfect. And if you do go outside your lines a little bit, you can just come back with a little bit of your other color and fix it up. Ashley says it's rodeo day, so I'm doing mine with spurs. Rodeo day. Rodeo day. Like, are you going to a rodeo? I want to go to a rodeo so bad. We are, we are, um, we are, we are. I'm making a quick trip to go see Adam because um, Tim hasn't gotten to go see Adam since he's moved. So we are taking a quick little Tim, Elena, and I are going out there later this week. And he, um, I don't think we're going to have time to go to a rodeo though. Probably not. I think we're going to try and go visit um, Fort Worth. They got the stockyards there, but I don't think we're going to have time for a rodeo. But we're going to hopefully be there to see the, the cattle drive down, um, down the main street, which I think would be super, super cool to see. Oh, I do too. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah. So we're looking forward to that. And then we're going to spend... Angela says, uh, uh, Angela Perry, can give Adam a hug for me. We will. I will give Adam a hug for you. I will give him as many hugs as I can. I'll give hugs. I'll give Adam a hug for every single one of you, okay? Um... I'll give him lots and lots of hugs. So we're only going to be there for a couple days. It'll be a relatively quick trip. I should wear my glasses because I can't oh, see. Oh, Misty I'm says doing. I'm in Fort Worth. The cattle drive is neat. Oh, I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. So um, we should be in town there around four o'clock for the cattle drive. So if you see me, say hi, okay? Because we are going to go check it out. And we're looking for a good barbecue place. Yes, let us know the good barbecue places that you don't have to make a reservation for three weeks in advance. <laughs> let us know. Because I know they get super, super busy there. So I don't know what it's like on a Thursday. That's when we're going to be there. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, the win Elena said the winter dance was kind of boring. There wasn't very many people there. Yeah, I think they were expecting it to be the winter version of homecoming, which it's technically supposed to be, the snow coming, homecoming, snow coming. Um, but not nearly as many people go to snow coming as See, Billy Bob's. homecoming. Billy Bob's, write it down. Remember that, Billy Tim. Billy Bob's. Because I'm, I'm going to forget. Remember Billy Bob's. Billy Bob's, all right. Billy Bob was my best friend. Billy Bob's. High school. Billy no. Bob's. Billy Bob's it is. <laughs> we're going to check it out. Um... So, yeah, I mean, it'll be a quick visit to Fort Worth, but we'll make the most of it. We'll make the most of it. Texas does not have good barbecue, just saying. Oh, don't oh, tell me that. Oh. They got it. Well, they, well, you know. They I think, got all them dang cows. How can they not have good barbecue? Is it like Florida where the best oranges get shipped the rest, the, all over the rest of the, my sister used to live in Florida and she's like, we can't get good oranges here. They ship all the good ones out and give us the garbage. Is it like that? They send all the good barbecue beef out and don't keep the good ones there? No. Um, I think it's a matter of opinion though. I feel like. Yeah, barbecue is like. Southern barbecue versus northern barbecue well, or whatever it's no, called. No, there's Texas barbecue, then there's then there's the Carolina barbecue, right. then there's the northern barbecue. So I think it's personal it's, preference. It is. It's Cause a, I bet the Texans think their barbecue um, is 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 the bee's knees and um it, and their their poo don't stink just like we think, right? 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 Cuz we you know, we all think what ours is is the best. 
right? Because that's what we're used to. That's what we're and see. But here's to. the here's the hard part. I'm kind of a barbecue snob. Tim is a barbecue snob. I told him he needs to quit ordering barbecue when we go out places because he's never satisfied with it. Because he thinks his is the best. Nothing ever holds up to his. It is. <laughs> and he's, I mean, I agree. I agree with that. Fully agree with that. But um, I'm like, you keep doing it to yourself. You keep doing it to yourself. This is the one that's the most time consuming. Okay, once I get past these boots, the rest is going to go whoop, super fast. Super fast. And there was this... Uh, uh... I just wish I had, if I had my glasses on, it would go faster. <laughs> you want me to go I'm, grab mine? I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I'm almost done now. So the best, but the best barbecue I have had from a restaurant, and y'all, I'm telling you, this was 30 years ago. I was just going to say 20 years ago. <laughs> 30. He, he, he's, he, he's, like I always say, he's living in the 80s and a little bit of the 90s. It was 30 years ago. The absolute best. Yeah. I wish it was still open. Milt's Barbecue. Milt's Barbecue. In, in Detroit. Mm. Uh, the absolute best. The man cooked it in a 55-gallon drum out behind his restaurant. Okay. That was good barbecue. All right. I'm going to dry it, and I'm going to put my boots on to make sure I covered all the spots I needed Is to that, cover. Thank you, Lavada, for the stars. If Carolyn says that, then there's my barbecue, right? Exactly. Yeah, so it'll be a quick send trip. Send we'll send check in with y'all. Send the samples of yours. Right? Of your barbecue. Right? Okay. I think I got them all. I think I got all the spots. I see one little spot there I want to touch up. So you just kind of lay your boots on there. Oh, maybe we'll leave the boots natural. I like it. What do you think? That's nice. I, I like that. I like it. I like it. That looks good. Hearts, if you think we I'm, should I'm leave them natural, thumbs up if you think we should paint them black. Yeah, they'll just come blend. I mean, I would still leave a little bit of the natural showing, but hearts for natural, thumbs up for, hearts for natural, thumbs up for black. Remember that, Tim, because I'm going to forget. The what? Hearts for natural, thumbs up okay. for black. couple little spots here. I'm going to get a little bit closer to the edge. Oh, apparently, James McCants, just like me. Hubby does an amazing job smoking and barbecuing, but he he's like you, Tim, changes it up every time. He can never recreate it because he never write it down. He never knows what he did. I'm like, oh, this is what you need to do next time. I don't know what I did. I just did a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and a whole lot of the other things. Yep. And I don't remember how much of anything or exactly what I put in it. I'm like, lovely, lovely. It's definitely the hearts. Dinosaur, di dinosaur barbecue, is that what that said? Yeah, that's what that says. Come to Syracuse and have some dinosaur barbecue. Dinosaur barbecue. So where are we at? We got the hearts. Oh, it's hearts. Hearts. I, I, I've seen like four thumbs, four okay. thumbs. Okay. I just discovered, now sometimes when you get your wood cutouts, like listen, this is very, these are delicate pieces, okay? There's a little spot here, you can see where the little piece, see how it's got the little holes here? Right here, there's a little piece of wood there. Sometimes just a little tap or you take a little... Oh, um, I didn't get it out. Yeah, you take a little pin and it'll poke it through. Um, Thank you, Karen, for the stars. I've got some. Ooh. Ooh, I got right here. Sherry says, Tim, you should ride the mechanical bull at Billy Bob's. Ooh. No. There we go. So it just popped right <laughs> out. So now we've got all our little open spots. Sometimes that'll happen too, like with the hangers, like the, the like those types of wood cutouts where they've got the little hole. Tim usually is good about poking those all out, but every once in a while he misses one. So just see if it'll just pop out. The mosquitoes are bigger in Texas. Mosquitoes are bigger in Texas? I'm going to go ahead and glue this on, then we're going to move to the next one because that way it'll kind of have time Ooh, to sit and dry. Billy Bob's is the largest honky-tonk in Texas. you got to go. Can you dance there? Yeah, Wait, where's can... it at, though? How far from, from Fort Worth? That's kind of oh, I'd be happy be. if I can find the Dallas Fort Worth floor. area. That would be so fun. Where is my super glue? I just used. Oh, never mind. I don't know. It's right here. I didn't touch it. I stored it upside down after last time when I couldn't get it to come out. Okay. So a little bit of gel super glue is what I like to use. I would suggest instead of holding it in your hand, lay it on your surface, just because it's a delicate piece and you don't don't push too hard and you know you don't want to break anything. <laughs> Marjorie says, Tim. Ride the bull so Christy can videotape it. Yes. We will no. definitely be checking in with y'all. She, she needs me to come back and work. 
I do need him to stay um, uninjured. That Somewhat is, healthy. That is the truth. I do need him. Uh, Desi, no, that will never happen. What? She said, try uh, barbecue and Rocky Mountain oysters. Ooh. That will never happen. I mean, they could be good. Do you know what they are? I, I, oh, no. Oh, wait, aren't those like the... Uh, yeah. Southern region of something? Uh, yes. Yeah, never mind. We had that conversation here before, I think. Yes, I didn't, we did. I didn't know what they were before. Ah, I glued yeah. it to something. Okay, hold on, hold on. Woo! Okay. Got it on. Oh, they said Billy Bob's is in the stockyards. Oh. Oh, how fun. Yes, uh, uh, that is the machines you hear in the background. I wonder what time they start. Because we can't be there all night because we got to get back and get checked into our hotel that night. So we're going to like actually go to get to the stockyards before we even check into our... Because um, we, we rented a hotel just because it's too many of us to stay at Adams. Because, you know, if it was just... Me and Elena, we could sleep on this futon, or even if it was me and Tim, we could sleep on this futon, but all three of us can't um, sleep on this couch. Sleep on this futon. So we will. Um, so get ready, guys. I'm going to grab some more. Uh, we decided to get a hotel. I'm going to grab some more names here in a minute. Okay. So I've got oh. these on. I'm going to set it aside and let it dry, but look how cute that is. How cute to set that aside. Where's my. Um, I need I the know. stand. This one doesn't have the stand with it. Oh for that i don't need that all right next we're going to do next we're going to do let's do this one we're going to do our our dog tag okay and like i said you can do these any color you want for any different military branch that you want i'm doing these very neutral today for um oh i can still do it i was gonna come back and Add some antique wax distressing, and I didn't. But I could still do that. So I'm just painting my lines. These are super, super easy. You want to paint outside the lines. You're just covering the etched marks, and then your metal piece will overlay on top of it. Anxious to see the dog tag. Yeah, it's going to be cute. There's a Rocky Mountain Oysters Festival in Con Con Conley, Washington, that is well attended. Wow. Huh. Interesting. What does your shirt say, Tim? <laughs> My shirt says, uh, <laughs> we the people. Preamble. It's, so there's a uh, whole festival around the southern animal region? Yes, a whole festival. A whole festival. I, that would be an interesting festival to go to. Yeah, I, no. No. I feel like it would be. Like, do they have a parade and floats? Like, how do they decorate their floats? Yes, Don. These are in our. Um, oh, these are in <laughs> our shop. Yes, Here, these um, are in our shop. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do my stars white, and I'm literally just gonna paint over the whole section with the white. Well, this is this is a, a shirt that some friends of ours, uh, well, some people that we know that they own their own business up in Marysville, Breacher Rustics. Yep. Um, they sell these shirts and uh, it's my, you know, my little way of supporting supporting them. Yeah. Another small, small business. They are actually, um, one is an active duty police officer. Yep. Currently still. And the other one is a retired military um, a vet. So, and they do all kinds of like, the blue line stuff. They do a lot of like this stuff, but like on big scale, like yeah, they do like um, really cool stuff, really gear, cool stuff. They, they, you know, they started out doing gear racks. We actually met them because we bought one when we were using the CNC machines. And as our business was growing, we needed to add a third one and they were selling one because they were upgrading and moving to lasers. So we bought that off of them. Um, at that time so we got to go meet them and see their shop and it was it was really cool it, it was, was. Really neat. their was shop really, was just really great their people. shop is huge yeah all right so i i don't know y'all y'all tell me should we distress this one or leave it i was gonna distress it i forgot to distress it distress what this one. Oh. i was gonna distress it should we distress them or leave them Hearts for, I can still distress them, it's not too late. 
So hearts for distressing, thumbs up for leaving them crisp and clean. Hearts for distressing, thumbs up for crisp and clean. So I'm gonna just set that aside for a minute and we're gonna do this one. So this one, it has the stars etched in it. So you can do the stars a different color and then do the base all one color. Um, there's a little, there'll be a little bit of like a frame around it. So if you want to do it a three different colors, what you can do is line up your stars on your base and then trace around the outside. So you can just paint the outside edge a different color than your words, which I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna take a pencil. Now see, it was, it started out strong for the hearts. Okay. And then the, the, uh, the, the thumbs up are kinda. Thumbs up are catching up? Thumbs up are catching up. All right, keep it coming so he can he can see real good. Let us know for sure. So right now it's leaning towards. Uh, it's our, looking like the thumbs are, are. Thumbs thumbs was leaving it clean, right? Not doing it distressed, right? I thought hearts was clean and thumbs was distressed. Oh, that's right. Hearts was clean. Thumb. Clarify. Yeah, heart. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, jeez. All right, I'm gonna do my. Stars white, no. I'm gonna do, the stars would normally, I would go lean for, towards white because of the flag. But I, I think they'll get a little bit lost. So I think I'm gonna do the edges white. Let me think this through. Let me think this through. Blue, red, white. Hmm, hmm, how do I want to do this? I think I'm gonna do the stars white. I think I'm gonna do the stars white. I am. So then we're leaning towards, so then we're distressing. That's what we're doing? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Someone tell me what we're doing. <laughs> Somebody tell me what we're doing. Just do whatever you want with it, right? <laughs> right? Y'all, I don't make decisions well, okay? No. And that's, no. that's the real reason I ask y'all for Arch help. Arch distressed. Because Chrissy loves distressed. I love distressed. Oh, is that? <laughs> That's not why. Yeah. Hearts for distressed. <laughs> wink, wink, distressed. Yeah, right. I would lean thumbs towards are clean, distressed. Hearts for distressed. <laughs> so, so thumbs won it? Yeah. So then we're keeping it clean. Gonna keep it clean tonight. <laughs> gonna keep it clean. All right. We'll keep it clean. All right. I'm gonna grab some names here. I'm going to do. My edges. Okay, we have. Right. I'm going to do the inside red, the edges blue, and this part blue. We have Cynthia do. and Johnny Yance, Dora Babiak, Susan Cook Tisseth, Janelle Sunderland, Jean Jennings, Kathy Carter. Oh! Kim DeFranza, Margaret Martin, a set. I Linda's Roach. Kimberly Buck, Michelle Swift, and Yvonne Werner. You're saying the names got me, uh, reminded me. Um, we are gifting one of these sets to someone who sprinkles this video. So sprinkle, sprinkle, spread the love. But I see a ton of you guys have already sprinkled it. So you guys are awesome. Um, Carol, I believe they're just an online. I, I, I don't remember them having a storefront. They did not have a storefront at that time. And I think they still don't. I, I think, think they're they, just online. You might, they might. I don't know if they offer in-store pickup at all. You'd have to see what their website shows. Because when I order stuff, it's I, I have it shipped. We always have it shipped. I don't think they have a storefront. I think it's all online. But they got lots of really cool things. Yeah, they got a lot of cool things. So show them some love. Let them know Christie's Craft Room sent you. All right, I'm going to do the USA in the blue also. Do that in the blue. Like so. Usually someone from there is usually watching. I'm surprised they're. Yeah. I may distress the paint a little bit. Um, yes, you can just paint. Do the antique wax. You can paint on over the metal overlays. You can paint the metal. Um, you don't want to use your acrylic paint on the metal. You're going to want to use something like a chalk paint or a spray paint would um, probably work better. But like a. Ch uh, acrylic paint is not going to work 
super, super great. So I just want to do a little peek, lay this on here, just so I can see, make sure, okay, the areas that I have to do red. So I'm going to do this inside area with red, and I'll, I'll kind of dry it, and oh, what happened there? What's My brush point? fell into the black paint. How'd you manage that? I don't know. Nuts. I don't know. Being a little clumsy with my paint. Uh, it shows we still, it still shows on our side that the comments are um, on on YouTube. We see the comments. Yeah, and it's Somebody still, comment and let us know. Still shows the comment line for us. Yeah. Try refreshing your page, maybe. There it is. Yep, we just saw another comment come yep. in from Miss Miss Cheryl. Hey Margaret, I I did put their a, li a link to their Facebook page. If you click on that, that'll that'll take you uh, to their page and with the link for their um, website. Cheryl and Hubby are here watching because he's home early today. Whoop, whoop. Yay! All right, so this bottom part. Hi, Katrina and Catherine. So I guess we're keeping it clean today, huh? Yes. Keeping it clean. Yep, we can see you, keeping Cheryl. Clean. All right. All right. So I just want to give you guys the heads up. I can't give you any details yet, but I want you to be watching, okay? I want you to be watching. What? I'm watching. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, what? Do I not? What? what? Um, Live event information will be coming soon. So Hi, just Blue. be watching for it, okay? Be on the lookout, okay? Be on the lookout. We will get a wait list going that we will um, open the tickets to, to the wait list after we open it to our craft kit group. Our craft kit group always gets first access to everything. So they'll get first access and then it'll go to the wait list and then it will come here to the page. So make sure you're watching um, for how to get on the wait list, okay? Just be watching. If Diane's watching. Diane's got her eyes going. She's watching. Oh, no, they're all making fun of me while I'm <coughs> watching you. <laughs> I did not give the location yet. I did not give the location yet. No, this is number two. This is our second live event. We did no. one last year. Oh. Oh, you got to go number two? Oh, you got to wait, three. baby. You got to wait. Huh? No. no. What? I t I'm a moron. <laughs> no, I want to know now what. I want. We all want to know, don't we? We all want to know why he's like, ugh, about. <laughs> she says beer 30, Tim. <laughs> he's like, no, I'm not, no. At, I'm not at 30. No. No. Just number two. Only number two. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Duh. All right, now that I cleaned up my mess, let me dry this a little. And we're going to make sure that I got all my area covered. And I don't know why we didn't etch this one. We didn't etch the words. We didn't etch the words on this one. I, etched it, etched it. I thought the words were going to oh. be etched on this one, but. No. I must not have sent it with the words etched. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry, y'all. But that's okay. All right, I need to go a little bit higher with my freedom. Freedom. Are you gonna sell kits for home bodies? Um, I potentially will. I just don't know logistically how we're gonna work through that this year. Um, we are, I just gotta figure out the logistics of it um, first. If uh, we can do that again this year. It was a lot last okay. year. And I just gotta make sure that we can still keep up with all the other things that we have to do and put on the best and most amazing in-person event and do that. So um, I, I'm working on that plan. Kim, the so. list is for the wait list for our live event this year. Yes, yes. So just be watching, okay? Be watching. I've been getting that ready for you guys. So what will happen when we do launch it is we will open it to our craft kit group first. They get early access to everything. Last year, almost all the tickets got purchased by them. And we really literally only had a handful left when we opened it to the wait list. Yes. So um, if you are not, if you're in our craft kit group, you're going to get early first access before anything anyways. If you are not in our craft kit group, you are going to want to get on our wait list. Okay. 
Trisha, would you ever? Uh, oh, where'd it go? So I'm gonna glue this on. Where'd it go? I just oh there. It, would you ever consider sending kids to Ireland? Hmm. I would love to. It's just the shipping logistics. The shipping is. I mean, it's even it's even sending them to Canada, which is literally right across the river from us, is a bit of a logistic um, nightmare. Well, not a nightmare. Not a nightmare. All, a little bit of a pain in our booty sometimes. Because sometimes the biggest issue that we see is sometimes for random reasons, customs will send it back. They'll just send it back. Yeah. They'll be like, no, nope, address, address, ad not accurate address. And we're like, it's the same address. We've shipped the same person a kit for the last two and a half years. Like literally, we have some, well, maybe two years. Um, and then now you're saying that it's not an accurate address address so yeah. then we resend it with the exact same address and magically it gets delivered so um customs can be a little bit of a and, and I, I listen i know the customs they got a lot that they're going through um dealing with so it's any shipping service you're gonna have potential issues so um yes gail yeah i don't know maybe in the future it would be fun i would love to um yeah it's just working out the logistics of it all um and that I don't know what it would cost. Yeah, Gail, at, the, at our live event, yes, the the people that are there do um, do crafts with us. Yes, yeah, Last we year bring we did three. Yep, we bring all the craft kits with us. All the supplies. We bring everything with us. You don't need to bring anything but your happy little self ready. But your to happy have little self. Your happy little self. Right? Yes, so happy. you'll be happy. Yeah, be happy. Don't come if you're not happy. No, no, come if you're not happy, and we'll make you happy. We'll have fun. Yes. We'll all have happiness together. Um, all right, I'm gonna let that dry. I'm not gonna hold it up yet because I don't want it to all fall off. And then we have our last one. I'm gonna go ahead and glue our dog tag since we're keeping it clean tonight. We're keeping it clean. Um. Well, hello, Miss Judy. I'm glad you're here. So we will. Um, Gosh, we've got fun stuff planned, y'all. I am so excited. I was excited last year, but I didn't know what to expect. This year, I'm even more excited oh, because I, I know what to expect. I, I know how amazing it's going to be getting to meet so many more of you. Um, and I'm a lot more comfortable and relaxed because we've done it once. Okay, we've done it. We know we can do it. And it's going to be amazing. So... But we got fun stuff planned. We have got some fun stuff planned. We are definitely yes. um, kicking it up a notch this year. It is definitely going to be um, better. We are able to have a larger space so we can allow more people, but we're still going to keep it limited. It's still going to be limited. It's still not going to be an unlimited number of tickets. Um, but we definitely will have more available than the 75 we had last year. All right, so this one, I didn't, we didn't etch this one either. So this one, we're gonna do a little trace. We should have etched this one. I don't know Which why one? we didn't. These ones. Oh. I don't know. I don't know why we didn't. So I'm just gonna do a little tracing around here. Oh, I guess I didn't need to trace. Yeah, yeah, that's why. I'm gonna trace around here. And I'm going to slide this down this a little bit. allowed this year. <laughs> Only if he promises to stay out of our room. Yes, right? <laughs> right, right. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Dave's welcome to come, but he better not crash our room. You know, don't, don't crash our room this time. All right, so I marked a little mark because I want the stars to be a different color than the hero. Okay? So let me show you what I did. So I just traced around the edges, and then I slid it down like so and i put a little line so i know this section and this section will be the color for the stars this section will be the hero and then around the outside edges will be the color that i choose for that so i think i'm going to go with white for the stars again yes he dave was a good sport we're gonna go red for the outside edge and blue for the center kind of the opposite of the last one we did Dave was a super good sport. We um, we gave him a hard time. So for those of you that don't know, I'll share the story. So <clears throat> the very first night that we got to the event, um, 
we were in our hotel room. We were, it was late. It was, I don't know, 10.30, 11 o'clock. It was late into the evening. Um, and we were all settled in. Tim was falling asleep in the bed next to me. She was on her computer. <laughs> all I can say is thank goodness we shared a room with our daughter, okay? So everyone was dressed appropriately and, you know, <laughs> you know. I mean, Tim, well, so, yeah, yeah. So, um, because that could have that could have ended very differently. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I say the things I say sometimes, y'all. I don't know why I say my 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 words come out faster than my brain can control what's happening, and I say things that I probably should shouldn't say. You think? And he tell me to behave. I mean, he could have walked in on some funky things, you know. <laughs> we are a happily married couple. <laughs> Dave's like, thank goodness her their daughter was with them. Um, so we're sitting in our room, minding our own business, getting ready to get a good night's rest before the live event starts. Yeah, I know, right, Constance? The next day. And all of a sudden, I hear the boys had been in our room not too long before that. And then they went back to their room. And Elena is, she was sleeping. Tim was falling asleep. And I hear the door open. And I don't think much of it because the kids had a key for, or the boys had a key for our room. Um, and then I hear like this manly, this man voice. Okay, not a 20-year-old man voice, but a more mature man voice. Oh, hold on. No, the, the silicon mats are not in yet. Not yet, but they're, so they're coming. So as soon as they are, we will let you know. Yes. Um, so we are, I, I hear this man voice. Sorry, I don't, I don't see all the comments. And he was complaining about something. I can't remember. Something about the, the, something about the, something about that being an awful long walk. And that was an awful long walk to blah, 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 blah. And then he just like gets to the end of our bed and just stops. And I look up and there's just a man standing in our room <laughs> and he's like, I think he said something like, this isn't my room. Something to, what, God, my brain. I don't know. Something about, I was Tim was half asleep. He was like, oh, what's happening? Um, so he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He like puts his head down and like literally backs up and retreats out of the room. And he's like so apologetic. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh my goodness. And he's like, this isn't my room. And he goes out. And then he ended up going down to the front desk to let them know that, like, my key worked in their door. <laughs> like, he used his key, and, and it worked in the door. We think maybe the door didn't, like, you kind of had to kind of give it a little bit of a push to make sure it latched. So we think it just wasn't latched, and the key didn't actually work in our door. It's just the door wasn't fully shut, so he just went through the motions of the key and pushed the door open, and it opened, right? Yeah, that's what I <laughs> That's what I think. So then I'm like on my computer, I'm replying to comments, I'm doing, I'm on Facebook and I'm in the group and, and, and all of a sudden, like everybody had, a lot of people had come into town that night. It was like th Thursday night. A lot of people had come into town and they were exploring the town. You know, we always like to do our events where there's other things that you can do in the area and we encourage people come in early, stay late. It, you know, you're going to travel somewhere to hang out with us explore the area too okay we want you to soak all that up too and i'm going to do the white spots here exactly so I'm who in the ham sandwich you right so i'm looking at all the pictures and all of a sudden i see a familiar face i'm like oh oh him. I know him. I don't recognize that mug. Like, I always thought, like, I would never be able to recognize somebody in a lineup. I always think, like, you see that where, like, in the TV shows where they're like, do you know which one it was? And there's all these familiar looking people and you're like, I'm always like, I would never, I don't pay that close attention to people. I would never be able, something that happened that fast like that, like, quick, I would never remember. Apparently I would. Because I saw that face and I'm like, that's the man. <laughs> that's the man that broke into our room. <laughs> It was Dave. So, of course, we had to tease him all weekend long about barging into our room. So, that's that's the story behind. Um, Dave is welcome to come to the event, but um, he's got to stay out of our room. <laughs> I 
Maybe we should just give him his own key. We'll just give him a key next time so he doesn't, you know, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> Come on in, that we don't have to break in. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um, yeah. And he had no he had no idea that it was our room. Like he had no idea that it was us until at the event the next day when we did our Friday fun day, we um we were at the river boat getting ready to get on the boat and we saw and he, they just happened to be at the front of the line. <laughs> it was perfect. So we kind of went up and Tim and I were like walking to like it was our first time really getting to meet most of the people and seeing most of the people. So everyone's in line for the river boat. So we kind of start going through the line to talk to everybody and say hi <laughs> to everyone. <coughs> and says at least I got a break. At least you got a break. Yes. Yeah. Lynn got a break that week because we were it was all about giving Dave a hard time. So we, now I'm going to do the center part blue. So, you know, we had walked up and, and I'm like, I know you. I'm like, you were in our room last night. And then of course he just died laughing. And I think his face got about as red as this red paint I'm using here. Yeah. Um, it was pretty funny. It was pretty funny. So um, we made so many amazing memories that weekend. Yes. Um and that's what it's all about. The crafting is fun. Like we craft and we have fun. But the connections that we make with people when you get to be together in the same space, face to face, is so, it, it's just amazing. It's amazing. Um, so yeah. here's, here's a question that I don't know the answer to. Do we get notifications for the private group? Letting us know when you make posts like we do with this page, or do we have to always go to the group to check it out? When we go live in the private craft kit group, we do send out a text. So you just have to text um, text CN123 to the te our texting number, and that will put you into that group. So when we go live, you'll get a notification letting you know that we are live in that group, um, just like we do here on this page. But you have to send us that text. Whoa, you just oh, bumped me. Sorry. It's okay. I think we're okay. I don't think it bumped out too far. All right, let me dry this, and I'm going to put my metal on to make sure we got all the... Um... He did have his own key, right, Billy? He really says he did have his own key. He did. He did. Yes. Shelly, this is in our shop. This is one of our releases from Friday. And I'm going to sprinkle this video... Or... I'm going to gift this set, and I, and I mentioned it once, I keep forgetting. I'm going to gift this set to somebody at the end of this video. So make sure you sprinkle this video, make sure you're chatting with us in the comments, and we are going to gift right here, y'all. Look how, look at, look, 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 we've upgraded our packaging. Um, we've upgraded it. We, this is going to keep things, we use the bubble wrap, but the bubble wrap lets things slide around. So we've switched to a shrink wrap that we're gonna start. Some stuff is still in bubble wrap that's already packed, okay. but we're gonna start using the shrink wrap. So it keeps everything nice and tight so it's not shifting all over. So these delicate pieces, um, these delicate pieces are protected down inside there and they're less likely to get broken. So sprinkle, sprinkle, we're gonna give this set to somebody. Not a lot. And it's easier for us, huh? Not a lot. Okay. And it's easier for us to, um, no, Jenny, it doesn't matter. Anybody can send that text, but they can't get into the group to watch. So it doesn't matter. If we send out a text that we are live um, in the private group, they still can't get into the group because they're not a member of the group to know that we're live. So that's why I said that code out, out loud. Um, now, and that's why we don't send the Zoom link to the group because we put the Zoom link in the private group. So only our group members can see it. So, um, so yeah, I did, yes. Okay, well, let me make sure that this lines up right. Yes, it does, it does. So you always wanna look before you go and glue it to make sure that you don't have any wood showing um, anywhere. So now we're gonna glue that on. Let's glue that on, glue that on. Where's my glue? Had a blast, <coughs> love meeting so many different people and making some great friends and yes. felt kind of famous. Uh, That's awesome. Yes, Thank Lynn, you, yes. For this stuff. Yes, everyone's like, oh, you're Lynn. Oh, <laughs> so it's your fault. Yes, yes. No, it's fun. And there were lots of friendships made. There are lots of ladies that came to the event that 
connected with other ladies at the event. We had a lot of people that just came by themselves, that they didn't have a friend or a family member that came with them. They completely came by themselves and they made friendships that like they're still, like they tell me, like they're still connected, they chat, they, they, um, yeah, it's awesome, it's amazing. It's amazing, it's amazing. I think it's totally worth it to do something like that for yourself. Oh, hold on, I shift it. All right, oh, I'm gonna do a little touch up there because because, 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 real quick. But they always thank me for getting the info. Yes, yes. Oh no, everyone appreciates Lynn over in the Craft Kit group because she usually gets the the scoop. She gets it yes. out of us. And yes, this will, this will go on the truck. Yes, and I will show you in just a minute how it goes on the truck as soon as it all sets. Okay. And I had it lined up perfect, there we go. All right, so just to make sure it stays put, I'm going to set something a little heavy on on it. Um, what can I put on this one? Oh, was that glue? Was that super glue I just rubbed on my face? Oh, that's paint! <laughs> Thank goodness it's not glue. Oh my, could you imagine if that was super glue, y'all? Oh gosh. Y'all, I'm usually pretty tidy with my paint. I'm having a problem with that black paint today. It's like, yeah, it's, it's uh, getting on me left and right. At least it didn't get on my craft. All right, I gotta get something on this. Hopefully my glue didn't set during that. Um, ah, what do I got? Do you got something heavy over there that I can set on this? Just to help hold it in place. It'll work. It'll work. Hopefully my glue didn't dry. If it did, I'll, I'll reset it. Okay, so I want to add a little embellishment to this. I'm gonna put, you can just put a piece of twine on there. You could put like a chain on it if you want to. I'm gonna put like a little tassel. So I'm using, I'm using our tassel maker from our shop, okay? We have this in our store. Lots of you bought it, so I figured let's use one. Let's use it so you guys can see how it's used and how you do it. So you can make big tassels, you can make small tassels. So if you wanna make a big tassel, you loosen these screws. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Am I screwing them the right way? There we go. Oh no. So we'll you can make using... up to like a four inch tassel. So this will be, it'll fold in half, okay? So this is gonna be double the length of your tassel. All right. Now, Patricia, we'll still be using the bubble wrap. Oh yeah, we're still gonna put it in the bubble wrap because when this shifts around, cause they're really, really rough in the delivery systems. So what we'll do is it'll still go into a bubble wrap. Um, now, like if you order two of these, we might put the two together in the bubble wrap and then put it in the bag. So we won't be using as much bubble wrap, but they'll still be protected. Um, if they still need that padding in the box, definitely. Definitely. This just keeps them from shifting around it cause the, because it, it sucks in tight so those little pieces can't bounce around in there and get broken. Did you bring me one of those stands? Yeah, that's right. Oh, here it is, okay. okay. All right, it comes with the picture frame stand too. All right, so I just want a small tassel. I don't want anything real big. I'm gonna use the red and white and the blue and white, um, what is it called? Baker's twine. I got these. One of the yeah, craft stores. Uh, yes, we do have the glue in our shop. Mm, no, we don't. No, I thought we did. I didn't get it added to the website yet. Oh, sorry. We got the order in, but I didn't get it added to the site. So yes, we oh, will have this glue I in the shop. Teresa. I just got to get it added to the to the site. So I'm gonna take all three of my colors, and I'm just no. That light does not go with the that the the light is not part of the 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 what you're gonna win. The what light? Oh, this no. <laughs> No. no, you don't get the place. You don't get the placeholder. So I'm just wrapping this around as many times as I want. The more times you wrap it, the fuller your tassel is going to be. We don't need anything hugely poofy. I think that's enough. Okay. So I'm gonna. So what to, I'm going to do, let me show you a little trick here with this. I had to get one to replace it. Okay. So when you, actually when I started it, I should have done the yeah, same Tammy, thing. Yeah, Tammy, I see you. 
ish. So when you start, you're going to take your tassels, your strings, and you're going to loop it around your little bolt here. <laughs> you're going to loop it around. Kimberly says the mail is the mail isn't as rough as my dog with the craft box. Oh yeah, the dogs. I left her out while I was taken to town. She ate part of the new box. Oh. That's not good. All right, so I'm just looping that around and that's going to kind of hold it, okay? Like so. And uh, I love this set so much. It would be perfect for See? my front hall where I have a framed photo of my grandpa mm. in his army uniform and the oh. framed flag uh, from his funeral. Oh, that's awesome. That yeah. would be a good place for this. Now I'm using three strings, so it gets a little tight when you're wrapping these around there, but you can do it. Man, they're getting snow. Who's getting snow? Uh, Teresa. Nice. Steve's. We are not. All right. I know. We need some snow. And then you're going to take whatever you want for your tassel loop to be. I'm going to use the twine. I'm going to use the twine. Thank you, Pat. Okay. Says hello, you two. Love you. Love watching you guys. Aw, well, thank you. We're going to tie a loop for our tassel. Now, the longer you want your loop to be, the longer you're going to leave your loop. Okay. Right, so there's my loop. There's a knot at the end, okay? We're going to take this knot and we're going to lay it in here like so. We're going to put it right through in the center, okay? Right through in the center, like so. All right? So see that? See it's poking through the bottom? You see that little, the knot is coming through the bottom? We're just going to kind of lay it like that, all right? <sighs> I hope what I say looks flip it okay over. glued back together. Oh. I'm gonna, hold on, I'm gonna flip it over. I'm gonna take another piece of my string, any color, doesn't matter. And then we're gonna loop it around in the center. Now you're gonna make sure that where you tie this in the center, your knot is below, okay? So if I tie this right here in the oh. center, you see that knot there? Okay, so I'm gonna tie it above the knot. So that's gonna lock that little loop in there for us. And there's little notches on the side here. Let me tie this and then I'll show you that where they meet is where the center is going to be. So it shows you your center point for your tassel. All right. And once you do this once and you know how to do it, it's super easy. I'm trying to explain it as I do it and hold it up and move it around and flopping it all over the place. Um, it's super, super easy to make a tassel. Super easy. Yeah. Lynn, Lynn just, they just had an earthquake in New York. Just now? Well, I don't know, but. I'm cutting my little ends, my little strings. Okay. She said so they had an earthquake. Here's the front side. So we had our, our loop. You see that loop? And it's going through the stack of strings. And on the back side, there's the knot, okay? So I tie, so here's the top of the loop, and then there's the knot. You're gonna tie your knot above the knot of your loop, okay? And if you look closely, where this little notch and this little notch meet, that's the center. If you extend it out, these other notches will line up where they line up is the center, okay? Now, it's got these little notches in the end. So we're just gonna take and cut Cut it. And the same thing at this end. Ouch. Your scissors fit right into that little notch, okay? Now you've got your loop and all your strings, okay? So you're gonna pull your loop up. You're gonna pull all your strings down, like so. Pull them all down. Pull them all down. And I'm gonna take another piece of twine or string or whatever you want to use. You could use ribbon as well. A little bit of a longer piece. And I'm gonna tie a little knot right here at the top to create our collar. And I'm gonna, I have a long piece of string and I'm tying the knot at one end 
and I'll, you'll see why in just a second. So kind of get your first knot, make sure all your, your ends are pulled down. It's an earthquake in New York, that's crazy. A week ago. Oh, a week ago, I thought just now. Yeah, no. Wow. Earthquake was Buffalo. In yes, Buffalo. the um the wood and metal cutout set is in our shop and so is the tassel maker. Yes. Ooh, can you take one of these out of stock because oh. you know how to do that? Just go there. Here. <coughs> here. Yep. No, 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 no. Dashboard. Dashboard. Products, all products. Yeah. I forgot. Them. I grabbed one out of the shop. Dashboard. And I never took it out of out of stock. So now uh, if your strings don't line up right. Uh, you can just trim them up a little bit if you need to, unless you want them to be a little bit on the messier side, uh -huh. or if you want it a little bit shorter than what you had it. But now look how cute that little tassel is and how easy it was. Now, I just cut it off. I forgot I was going to actually create, I was gonna take that long end what and wrap it around. Tassel maker? A tassel maker, you can make this. Okay, go to, are you at products, all products? Yeah. Where's the search bar? I don't know. Because you gotta make it full screen. Scroll up. Right there. But because I cut it off, I can still glue. I can still put a little dot of glue. And I'm just gonna put that on there. I'm gonna loop it around a few times just, just to create a little bit of a collar. Like oh, so. Oh, wait. I'll click at it. There's enough glue there. I don't need to put more glue. Stop quantity. Yeah, just do one less than what's it's showing there. Updates. I don't want to oversell. Facebook. That's the thing. Whenever Facebook. I swipe stuff from the storefront, I have to remember to uh, to take it out of stock. But there's our little tassel. How cute is that? That was so, I mean, it was so easy. So super easy. Obviously, I was given instructions and it, you know, it always makes it a little bit more complicated. But... It makes it so easy, and look how, like, I mean, it makes oh. a good tassel. Carmel says it's on page six. Page six. Page six is the tassel. It's twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. Twelve ninety five. Which, so worth it. Oh. And you can make bigger tassels. Stacy, um, just by extending it bigger. Stacy, send a, a stop and then start, and that should kind of reset the the texting. So I think I'm going to just loop it through and let it hang down on the side. And we got a little tassel, a little tassel for our little set. And I think this is uh, this will this is set up through says you can pay for this through Sezzle too, right? You can't. You can you can use Sezzle, but you have to have it's forty nine dollars or larger of an order to use Sezzle. Um, I'm gonna paint these really quick. I'm just gonna paint them red really quick. These are our little stands. Oh, there's all the fuzzies from our tassel. Um, these are little picture frame stands that come with the set for your little round piece. So I'm going to paint those real quick just so they kind of disappear into the background. You'd want to paint them to kind of coordinate with whatever color you do your your sign so they kind of disappear all right oh loretta i'm so sorry to hear that about your son passed away in december do i have paint on my face still i feel like now I'm like self-conscious and I feel like when I look down, I see black paint on my face still. Mm. A little self-conscious, a little self-conscious about it. All right, let me dry this side and then I'll flip it over and paint the other side. And then I'm gonna show you how this all looks together. And then we're gonna gift one of these sets. So sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, I'm gonna flip them over. And do this side so um so yeah the live event guys be watching for it okay it's gonna be here very soon very soon very soon very soon very soon um and it, it, i mean if you're thinking about doing it definitely do it come we want to meet you we want you to have a fun time the ladies 
that came last year. A lot of husbands came with the ladies. They made a trip out of it. Um, they made a vacation out of it. And we actually, our Friday activity, if we, when we do it, if we ever have the space, we give the opportunity for, if you bring a companion with you, a travel companion with you, for them to be able to come to that as well. If they're not, anyone who comes to the event, obviously, will have a ticket for that and can come to that. But we always give the option when there's space available for the companion. So we had a lot of husbands. We did the riverboat um, tour last year on Friday. And we had a lot of the husbands. And even a couple of them brought, like, their older kids with them, too, um, to the riverboat, which was super fun. Super fun. It was fun. Um hearing the husband's perspectives of how excited their wives were to come to the event. Um, that was super, super fun. And I love how supportive so many of the husbands are of their wives crafting, um, their love for crafting and creating, which is super fun. I did that crooked, y'all. I probably did it crooked when I moved it. Oh, it's still not fully set, so I can adjust it a little bit. Now I gotta fix my, gotta fix, you can see a little bit of my wood, but that's okay. See, I show you how to fix things when you make mistakes, because I make mistakes too, guys. So now that we adjusted that, I'm just gonna come along with my paintbrush like that. And you never would know that just a minute ago, you could see the wood showing. So now it's all good, it's all good. All right. You want to see this all on display? On display, on display. Isn't there a song? On display, on display. Not Something like that. <laughs> okay, so I think we have everything good to go. I think everything's good to go. So we are going to. Some of you might have seen that. Should we put it in the red truck or the black truck? Which one? Red truck or black truck? Hearts for red truck. Thumbs up for black truck. You guys tell me which truck we should show it in. And yes, I have a black truck because I needed a very neutral colored truck. <laughs> so I made a black truck too. Um, hearts for red truck. Thumbs up for black truck. You guys tell me which one do you want to see it in? Which one do you want to see it in? So far it's hearts. So far it's hearts. All right. Looking like hearts, looking like the red truck. All right, so I'm going to take this set out. I'll show you the set in it that I have in here. This is our farmhouse. Our farmhouse set. So that's one set that we have in it. Oops. <laughs> put the sign backwards. Can you put that over there for a minute for me? Yep. Thank you. You don't want to put these in water? Oh, yeah. Probably a good idea. I don't want to touch the paint anymore. I'm dangerous with the paint today. Okay, so there's that set. So you're bored with this, you're tired of this, you wanna change it up, you wanna put something different in. So you take this set out, store it away, put those away somewhere safe. And then the trucks come, whoops, with these handy dandy little hooks, okay? These little hooks that go on the tailgate of the truck, okay? Yes, this truck is in our shop. So you put your little hooks like that, and then you can take this little sign and, oops, hook it on there. How cute already, how cute already. And then we're gonna take our little picture frame stand and it fits together like this. So you take the top piece Locked and the bottom awesome. piece and you lock it in together, okay? So you've got your little stand. Huh. Amory says she hasn't painted her truck yet because she hasn't decided on the color. Uh, Y'all, I know it's hard to decide what color. That's the toughest, toughest part is figuring out what color to do. And then we'll take, I mean, I think we could probably put all, maybe put all of these in, in here. So let's do our little, you can put them all in. Yeah, it gets a little crowded with all of them. But you can, you can. I have this one off to the side here. Maybe have the tassel come this way. A little bit like that, that is cute. Or you can take and have one of, you know, these move down to the bottom. 
And then just have two in here, or you can swap that one out. A lot of them haven't haven't done their trucks yet because they haven't decided on colors. I know the colors. The color choices are tough. It's tough to come up with the color choices. I don't know. Let me turn it this way so I can see because I can't really see very well. So let me turn it this way. Do this like this. Get it the way I really like it. Like that. I think I want that on that side. Yep. I know. Decisions, 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 decisions. Oh, yeah. Decisions, camo decisions. truck. A camo truck would be fun. That would be fun. That would be fun. Ooh. That's what I want. That's what I want. I mean, there's so many ways. You can rearrange it however you want. I kind of like it like that. I kind of think that's fun. But that's super cute. Super cute. But you can arrange it however you want. Um, or you I can take one of the signs and lean it. They said hearts was red. Oh. The, I saw more hearts. Oh. I'm sorry. I can show you guys the black truck in case you're deciding on colors. Here's red. A lot of people love red trucks. We also have the black. Here is the black. I had I had to do it in the black because I just love the neutral and I love the black. So I just did black and then I like distressed the edges to kind of highlight the edges a little bit. So um I saw somebody did like a teal green. Oh, it was yes. so pretty. With, I shared with it. Some, like, so, uh, didn't they dry brush some <laughs> like white on it too? It was like distressed. It was very, it was yeah. like antique wax and stuff distressed. Um, kind of like the red one is. So you could do any color. There's so many different colors. So I, I, mean, I kind of want to do another one in another color, but I probably won't. I just got to stop. I just got to stop and just, I got my red, I got my black and I just got to be, be content with that. So, um, Yes, we are going to add some of these stands to the shop. We will add some of these because um, everyone's loving these little picture frame stands that we have. So we are going to add those in a couple different sizes so that you can use them from these little things all the way up to bigger pieces like our our big rounds up there. So, um, yeah. The nice thing about the truck is you can change it out. So you can have one piece of decor and then you can change out what goes in the truck. So if you don't have a lot of space, but you wanna change things out all the time, you could have like a little tote that you store all your different little tier tray sets in, and then you can change it out for the different seasons, the different holidays, all the different things. So yes, red is so iconic. It is, it is. So, um, but we're gonna gift this set, the little, ooh. Didn't break it. I didn't break it. See, they're all in there, like tucked good together. They didn't break. Um, I was worried. I was like, oh, did I break it? I didn't. It just didn't. sounded like it. It just sounded like it, but nothing's broken. Nothing's broken. I'm looking it over good. I just popped the plastic a little bit. <laughs> Oops. All right, so we're going to give to this hero set, which is this set here that we just did, um, so that you can create your own version of it. So all you had to do was sprinkle this video. So better do it quick if you didn't. And then chat in the comments with us and then we're gonna scroll through. When I tell Tim to stop, the first name that he sees that sprinkled it after I say stop is the one that is going to be gifted this set right here, okay? So you ready? Let me get let me get my- Get your sticky notes ready. Sticky notes. All right. Get my pen. Those picture frame stands are so important and handy. Thank you, you are very welcome. You are very welcome. All right, ready? <laughs> Thank you, Kelly, for the stars. All right, here we go. All right, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Keep those names a rolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Who's it gonna be? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. A winner. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Stop. In About the time. Name of love. He's like, I was done singing that song. I was done singing that song. I was done. I was done. Fingers crossed. Aw, thank you, Miss Cheryl. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys like this. I'm so glad. It makes me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Ooh, Kimberly's going to do hers in the green color, but seeing Christy's black truck across the room looks great. Yes, yes, yep. I had to bring it out to show y'all. I had to bring it out to show you. All right, who do we got? We have Miss Jackie. All the Jackies out there going wild. <laughs> Didn't come out the way it did in my head. 
Um, Miss Jackie Pentagro. 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 Miss Jackie Pentagro. Miss Jackie, send us an email. Christie's team at christiescraftroom.com with your address. And we are going to get this little set right here shipped out to you. If your name didn't get picked, you can go to our shop. We have um, all of these items are in our shop, plus lots of other fun things. So go check them all out and um, let us know what your favorite ones are, okay? So thank you guys for hanging out and having another fun crafting. I'm going to clean up my mat here and clean up my mess. And then I'll see you guys later. Bye. Have a great night. Bye.